Well, this morning, investigators are looking for vandals who targeted the Anderson County Cemetery. What they did with the plots had the potential to make a few families furious. Instead, our Gordon Dill introduces us to the victims with something to say about prayer and grace. It's the kind of thing that would make a good man angry to attack a church, to desecrate the dead, to create pain for those who already mourn, for someone like Tommy Merritt. This is part of my family plot. There's some here and there's some, really it's all over here. His family is buried here at a Baptist church in Powdersville where stones are toppled and markers painted. Same thing for the family of Bill Young. I think if they, they catch these people, they ought to make them come out here and cut this cemetery for the next 10 years and do 200 hours of community service plus. The Anderson County Sheriff's Office is looking for those vandals now. You've likely noticed what's especially inflammatory here is what some of the graffiti says, using the words that have galvanized protests to victimize the innocent. Someone, and again, nobody knows who, wrote Black Lives Matter on family gravestones. And yeah, these folks are angry, but not enraged. Instead, using this church cemetery to show patience and grace. It could be what teenagers doing this, who, whomever did this is low life, is my opinion. And if they don't like that, they can call me and we'll discuss that. Our country is in a mess right now, and I think it's so misunderstood. <clears throat> I think each side, each side is so misunderstood. And to be honest with you, I think this, I don't know, I don't think the people that's in the Black Lives Matter movement or whatever, I really don't think they've done this. I think this is my personal opinion. I think somebody done this, maybe try to stir up more more trouble, but I, I really don't know. There is a reward if these vandals are caught, and if that happens, families who have already prayed for peace may find some of their own.